Hello and welcome to a brand new series in Dave the Diver. And I am... <laughs> I'm recording way ahead. Um, and the reason is because I decided that this is going to be the next game I play. And just... Like an hour ago, I had to stop myself from, like, test playing, so I didn't spoil the game for myself. <laughs> so, we are going to play some Dave the Diver, and uh, see how it goes. It is, as far as I can see uh, from what I have played, it's an awesome game, and I am super excited to play it. I hope you are just as excited to follow me on this journey. So without any further ado before we start a new game is uh, I will ask that you like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. That would be super awesome and nice if you did. But uh, without any further ado we will get this going now i have already started uh, i have test played and, and <laughs> done my usual like testing of uh, sound settings and stuff which is why i have an existing save but if we just make sure to press a on the gamepad we can see this lovely cutscene the game is pixel art and it is gorgeous and it has an insane amount of um, and pixel art animation and cutscenes it's it's insane This is sort of an introductionary cutscene. And as soon as we start getting Yeah, uh, I'm blown away about the on the the animations for the pixel art just just making pixel art is hard enough animating it is even harder that even if you're good at it it's time consuming beyond belief so yeah and it also doesn't seem to be a game that you finish in like three hours and you're done no 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 and there also seems to be a bit of a story. Which I am super excited to get into. And here we have some credit rolls. Oh, Dave, you got it quickly. A cobra that called us in a cutscene. Um, and we are playing. Surprise, surprise. Dave, the diver. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Okay. Look at this giant blue hole. Never seen anything like that. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes. Which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. 
What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on, go on in. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue, Sushi Bar by the Blue Hole. Yep, so you can play this with keyboard or a controller. It has full support for controller, which is super nice. Uh, I would actually recommend the controller because uh, the key bindings and controls makes a little bit more sense, but uh, not fully. Anyway. And we're diving in. Nice form, ha. Huh? All right, how about uh, how about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With LT, uh, you can move quickly. Left trigger. Uh, remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Yep. So you can see on the on the bottom left, you can see uh, we have oxygen. We have um, depth and we have our uh, carrying capacity. So, good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Which makes me believe that I'm not nimble at all. And I'm out of my uh, natural environment because I'm a freshwater snail in seawater. <laughs> Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small, on small fish. You can use the beaky. So yeah, you don't, all the fish will try to run away and uh, we just need to use the, the knife. Well done. Smooth and quick. Finally. You haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? A harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then... Looks like you need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with A and fire with a uh, right trigger now try it out for yourself so basically you're starting aiming and then actually trigger the the fire with right trigger which is a little bit unintuitive unintuitive i would say but yeah that's how you do it oops Boom. I think that should get uh, you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. There we go. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Ah, well, listen up. I have a friend who is uh, a sushi, sushi chef Ugh, well, well. who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. This right here that I have that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum! I'm already craving it. I, I bet. So, 
why don't you join and join in on this awesome venture as well what do you say i mean i love eating but i don't know a thing about cooking nothing to worry about the restaurant is all ready all you need to do is dive to get the ingredients doesn't sound too bad right now I'm going to just accept, but if you decline, you... <laughs> Cobra here as um, the capitalist and, and business investor and entrepreneur uh, gaslights you and, and just completely over overrules uh, <laughs> your decision-making from the get-go so declining doesn't matter it's it's a funny uh, uh, funny thing but I'm just going to accept so I can eat as much sushi as I want yeah sure you have to pay though can't wait to check it out a sushi restaurant next to the blue blue hole it was supposed to open tonight but I'm not sure if it's ready Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha ha. Not super prepared this cobra person. Hey, Pancho. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished you ah you are the fisherman cobra was talking about well i'm more of a diver than a fisherman all right anyway it's nice to meet you i'm bancho so you like sushi i sure do tuna belly eel sea urchin oh boy just thinking about it makes my mouth water mm, just as mediocre as, as expected <laughs> Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty of a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer? My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to every... An, an earthquake? Mm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we have the delayed opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I will have to cover, uh, will have to recover the repair cost through doing business. In this state? Aha! In the end of. In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. To a certain degree, yes. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Dot, dot, dot. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish, fish first. Oh, and uh, the restaurant is going to be open only the evening hmm. won't that decrease sales you think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money it is the chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone you will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day okay So, back in the water we go. It seems Pancho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. Ha! I haven't seen much enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. 
the incident. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go and catch seven fish first. <laughs> sure, slave master. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can... We have equipment and stuff. Nothing we can do with that right this second, though. So let's just jump straight in. And um, depending on how you catch the fish, um, it's going to be varying degrees of like quality so and you want to try to get um, as high quality as possible on the fish which isn't necessarily uh, easy all the time and not all fish can be and you have sort of a that will run away and yeah you you can't uh You can't uh, swim too deep, too deeply uh, here in the beginning, and your carrying capacity is very low, so you can't really um sure. And yeah, you can find equipment like um any time you dive, you can uh, each and every day you can dive down two times um, and you can um, uh, you can uh, get as many different things as you can possibly carry as long as you have enough capacity for, for carrying it and yeah so you can dive two times every day and one and every time every time you dive um every single time you dive down um you will uh, generate a procedural a sort of map to explore some things will be um, permanently in place uh, other things are random so it's um it's a bit of a um, roguelite kind of thing so I have now caught seven fish and yeah some fish actually uh, is actually aggressive and try to attack you and you don't really have health. Um, your oxygen is sort of your your um, health meter, uh, which is something you do need to be keeping. It's something you need to keep an eye on because if you get hit by um, 
by anything that makes you take damage, you may find that you... that you basically reach zero oxygen. Which um, basically means that your um, <laughs> it basically means you um, you die. It, it, essentially, you die, and uh, but you don't die. Die. It's not game over. Uh, it's just that that particular run got. Uh, ended because you then basically get fished up by Cobra um, before you die for real so, so to speak and yeah we need to be careful so we don't um go too deep and you can't you can go above your carrying capacity but you can't go too above your carrying capacity um do you sure we keep an eye on which of those two it was it's the bottom one there we go and as soon as the there is a box with a uh, basically a red flashing stop symbol it means that we can't carry anymore so I think what we will do is we will um if you go straight up to the surface you can then uh, go back to the boat but I think what I want to do is I want to go down and find Thing to interact with um, for a very simple reason which is it is uh, something that we can unlock if we interact with it and if I press Y, I can use an oxygen bottle I found. Like that, oxygen capsule refills 50% of your oxygen. Those are super good if you're wanting to explore a lot. And you can find them randomly by um, searching boxes and stuff. should be one is somewhere and if it looks like I'm I'm slow uh, that is because I am because I'm uh, above my carrying capacity I am moving slower <laughs> but yeah going to this escape pod will allow me to escape to the surface without having go having to go all the way up to the surface so i can use the escape pod to escape to my boat 
as quickly as possible. Uh, but you should be careful because, as it says, check your surroundings first as the calling process takes some time. And if we now do this, you can see that it takes a bit of time for this com to complete. So you want to be safe and not be chased when you start doing it. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. This rate will make boatloads of money in no time. Haha. <laughs> my my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry and hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head uh, to the sushi bar? Here we go. And each and every time you dive and come back, you get this diving, this dive log, which uh, gives you a bunch of stats of how long you were there, how deep you went, how much you caught, how much you obtained, so on and so forth. And a list of everything we got. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. That's what I said. You have two diving opportunities per day. One, one time in the morning and one in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hour starts. How are the preparations coming along? I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? I'm here to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me that it would be it would be somebody to help me with ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I never worked at a restaurant before. I have. It's horrible. I hated it. <laughs> the guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Yeah, so this. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. This is a good way of seeing what you have, which I think is going to be very important the further along you go. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Alright, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. This is the sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier. Try registering that to the menu. Yeah, and each and every sushi is dependent on what you caught. So, let's... And not all of them are equal. Some of them are better for certain things. And I think I am going to... pick you. Alright, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to order supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes. 
So try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. And yeah, what you want to do here is you basically have to do auto supply um, so that you don't waste uh, the fish you, caught, you catch. Because if you don't do auto supply, you're probably going to lose a lot of fish that you could otherwise have used. And yep, yeah, let's fill this. I would probably say that it doesn't really matter that much. Which one we do. Let's do that one. And auto supply. That's done. Oh. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, oh, only soft drinks, I think. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Yeah, so this is another thing which... Uh, this this is an, an awesome gay mini game. One thing to consider while you're doing this, what whatever happens uh, behind you isn't paused. So customers and other things, if they're getting impatient, they are still. This doesn't pause what's happening around so anyway <laughs> customers who drank green tea of a good or high grade will pay more oh, I expect as expected Pancho's green tea is quite something mm, that he really got my appetite going is there something to eat, perhaps? The morning as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Come over here, where I am, and take this food. Yep, you can dash when serving food. Use left trigger to move quickly. Don't forget your what. Uh, don't forget to watch your stamina. Yeah. Hello? You sent a package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. It's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused. So we'll have to throw it out. Seems like such a waste to throw it away. Anxious Sushi never re reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. So, keep that in mind if you're making a mistake or something happens. <laughs> you can't... You can't reuse it. You have to throw it away. Anyway. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. So. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register. Yeah, exactly. So each and every day, this is sort of the, uh, the morning and afternoon. You dive. And then in the evening... 
you run a sushi bar. So with the menu stacked and ready, I will do this this day and then I will round off this first episode. I think that's a perfect thing to do because this is sort of the uh, tutorial day. So, and here they come. Green tea. Get moving. Yeah, and beginning here, it's usually fine. Yeah, but later on, it will get a little bit too hectic to be able to do this myself. There we go. And yeah, sometimes you need to clean... Uh, Clean up after customers. Which is a bit awkward to do, but. And this, for example, uh, you won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. That usually isn't going to be a thing for the first few times you do this, but it's good to know that if that runs out, you have to go and get make more. Boom. And yeah, anything that happens. Uh, while you're doing stuff isn't post everything is running in real time so you sort of need to manage your time and what you're doing and every day you get greeted with one of these cards of how it went and this is where I will actually end the episode for now because I think there's going to be some cutscenes and then the next day is basically just going to start going so we are going to I I'm super excited I love the game so far I think I'm just going to love the game even more and um, the more I play and uh, I felt like I wanted to continue, but it's also something I wanted to make content on, so I just started recording. So here we are. Anyway, we will uh, continue the adventures as Dave in Dave the Diver next time. So on screen, you should now be able to see YouTube recommendation quick access to subscribe button and a quick access to the playlist for this new series. So I hope you're ex as excited as I am getting into this that you want to continue. But for now, thanks for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for watching. I hope, I, I hope I'll see you in the next one.